Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be comparing the NYX eyebrow pencil to the brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was really debating on even doing this video because I didn't know how to go about it and I didn't want to look up videos to show me how to go about it. I just wanted to... You know, I just wanted to do it by myself. So, like, I'm not sure if this is already a thing on YouTube. I just felt like these pencils were really similar. And I really like both of these two pencils. So, you know, I decided to, like, do a comparing video. So, yeah, if you guys want to see this video, please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with these two pencils. My right eyebrow is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hill eyebrow. And my left eyebrow is going to be the NYX eyebrow pencil, okay? Um, this is not an eyebrow tutorial. I'm just comparing these two pencils and seeing which one is better. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so one thing I like about this pencil is the spoolie on this end. It makes it really convenient so you don't have to switch in and out through pencils. Um, and then the product is on this side. I like the applicator on this pencil because it's slanted and you can draw your defined hairs if you need to. It's really, really easy and convenient, which I like. So right now I am just drawing a line under my brow because I like this line to be really defined. Then I'm going to comb these hairs down and fill in my arch. And now I'm going to do my left eyebrow with this NYX pencil. So what I noticed this part is it just feels more sturdy. Like when you're twisting it, it's not as loose as this one is. So they're really similar in shape, just the NYX pencil has already dulled down and the Anastasia um, is still angled and going strong. I think the texture is a little bit more waxy and the Anastasia is a little more smooth. And then I'm going to comb it down with the spoolie that they gave me. I don't really like this spoolie, I feel like it doesn't really catch the hairs to be honest, so I like the Anastasia spoolie better. Oops, and I broke it because it was up too high. Make sure you don't have it up too high. If you like more of a waxy product and more control, the NYX eyebrow is good. If you like the product to go on more smooth, then Anastasia Beverly Hills will be for you. See with the Anastasia pencil, you can actually create hairs and you can see them. The NYX pencil is not really giving me too much like it's not really giving me too much payoff. I mean you can see the hairs with the NYX but then it's not like as defined as the Anastasia pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off my brows with the LA Girl Pro Concealer with my angled brush and then I'm going to do my face makeup well, the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back to you guys with the rest of my thoughts on both products and whatever else I have to say about this product. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm already done with my makeup look and my eyebrows are done. So as you guys can already see, you can't really tell the difference at all. No eyebrow looks darker than the other. I literally got both of the pencils in dark brown. The Anastasia eyebrow is a little darker than this one. This one looks a little more natural if you're looking up close. From afar, you can't really tell that I use two different pencils. I've already had both of these pencils for a while, but this one has stayed in its, you know, original shape. It's a little dull, but it's still slanted, but this one has completely like curved out and plus I just broke it while I was doing this, so yeah. The spoolie on both ends, I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills spoolie better than the NYX spoolie because I feel like I feel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills really grabs more hair and the brush on the NYX pencil really doesn't 
do it for me for the price um i would go with the nyx because the nyx eyebrow pencil is like a nine or eight dollars and this pencil is like 25 dollars <laughs> yeah i feel like both pencils are great to have they both basically do the same exact thing um the anastasia beverly hills pencil goes on smoother and the nyx eyebrow pencil i feel like is a little bit more waxing you have more control with the anastasia beverly hills pencil i feel like you can get more defined hairs and with the nyx it's more of a shading type of type of feel it doesn't give you the defined hairs that you want like if you want to flick you know hairs up in the front the NYX pencil is not going to do that I feel like the NYX pencil is more for you know the girl that likes their brows to look full and not really too much defined some days I want my eyebrows to look really defined and some days I want my eyebrows to look really natural no clean cut lines or nothing what would you rather pay 25 or nine 25 or nine <laughs> if you're a makeup head you're not going to choose you're just going to get both which is why i have both because i like both i really really like anastasia and beverly hills but the price is a little steep for my pockets and i really really like the nyx and the nyx is more comfortable on my pockets so it's up to you it's basically up to you on what you want to do I'm not going to give you the ultimatum like oh no go for Anastasia Beverly Hills because some people are not going to spend $25 on a pencil to fill in their eyebrows but when it comes to the NYX it is more affordable um, the quality is still great and you're not going to break the bank I feel like I'm making this more hard for you guys to pick I'm not sure if I helped you guys out any. I'm not sure if I confused most of you guys. Just leave me your comments down below in the comment section. Let me know which pencil would you pick. Um, don't forget to like this video. Like I said, don't forget to leave me your comments down below in my comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Sneak. Yeah. Uh, she a couple, couple, couple years.